Clampers, another free 48 hour rest site with water, toilets, the lot, and shopping centres just around the corner. Wiki Camps number's just underneath you right now. That's the number you go to through Wiki Camps. But yeah, it tells you everything in Wiki Camps, not as much as I can tell you and show you, for instance. But yeah, look, it's a great area. Um, it, the strip is divided into three lots. Um, I'm in the far lot. G IGA is just behind me. It's made, seriously, it's a two minute walk to IGA, two minute walk to a pub, uh, two and a half minutes walk to a fish and chip shop. Now there's also a swimming pool here. It's called Home Hill Olympic Pool. It's probably around 15 minute walk, five minute drive. They are open from 5 a.m. till 9 a.m. Then they close to do maintenance. And then the next time it's open from one till six at night. So when you park here, if it's hot like today, like 36 degrees, and it is a bit of a stinker today, mate, do yourself a favor, lock your van up, go around for a swim. Seriously, it's cheap, it's not much anyway. It's in one of my own, my other videos anyway. If you don't want to stay in this area, you can stay at the council park around the, uh, around the corner. It's called Home Hill Caravan Park. I have done a video on it before. If you look it up through my channels, you'll see what it's like and what the pool's like and everything else. I'll let you have a look at the rest area right now. Talk to you soon, clambers. <laughs>
which they really keep them. Look, I'm at the um, information centre at the moment. It's just inside. I'm just going to go in there and have a bit of a look-see. But the car park, the actual, the camping area, what you get to stay in, it's two days per two weeks. You can break one day, one week, one day, the other week, in a two-week period. After that, you can stay again. Now, it's broken up to three sections. The first section is at the beginning. Then you've got the visitor centre. The next section is past that, just a little bit past that, which is right near enough, right on the station. And then you've got the other section that I've parked right down there. So I'm a hell of a way away from the toilets at the moment, but I don't care. Right, Righto, Clambers, I've just been in the visitor centre. Mate, seriously, go in there. The ladies will help you out heaps. They've got lots and lots of things to see and do around this place. There is a little booklet you get. It's called 101 Things to Do Around Here. So there's quite a lot of things to do. Just heads up also too with the, sh uh, with the toilets, they do have showers over there too. I did know, but as you, as you do when you go into the um, in information centre, the ladies are quite helpful and they'll point you in the right directions. Rightio Clambers, while you're around this area, have a walk around, seriously. There's some really nice artwork on the, on the uh, buildings here. Like of a, a sugar cane dude starting fires, he's a pyromaniac. Uh, but look, have a look around as you can see in some of the artwork I've already showed you. Mate, it's really nice. Most of the buildings are painted and stuff like that. Right, there is another bit of a heads up if you want to know about it. The road is cambered a small bit. So you need to chalk your passenger side up. The road is cambered because of the rain needs to run off into the gutter. So you do get a little bit of, so you need to straighten your van up a little bit. If you've got timbers, if you've got chocks, Mate, no worries. You can drive your wheel up on the gutter, but then you're a little bit more like that in one way. So look, if you've got chocks, a bit of timber, it says in wiki cams, bring some timber along to chock your wheels up. So look, it would be advisable. Bring some timber, chock your wheels up, get it level. Look, if you haven't got a fridge like mine that has to be level, who cares, don't worry about it. Just park up. Who cares if you're on a bit of an angle? What do they say? And the little one said, roll over roll over and you will and you fall out of bed all right clambers good morning clampers mate we're just rested up overnight at a place called home hill comfort stop uh, mate, like I said, it is a good little stay, but a bit of a heads up. I did hear two trains last night. One, it might have been three. I had the window open, so it was pretty noisy. Um, uh, there was a big one at 12 o'clock last night with a couple of engines and everything else, and it lasted for a while. Yeah, I went back to sleep. Uh, and it also upset the birds around here. Man, the birds went ape shit. At around 12 o'clock at night, they just, you do it, jab, jab, jab. You feel like getting out the door and saying, shut up and go to bed but that's nature for you beautiful birds not 12 o'clock at night they're not but look it is a nice rest area you've got everything in vicinity of it you've got iga you've got takeaways you've got pubs you've got toilets you've got free water it's got a lot of bonuses going to it the toilets i'll give a rating around three maybe three and a half if they're pushing it maybe they haven't got any um, paper towel in there at the moment to dry your hands. So, like I said, it is a nice little stop. There's plenty of room. Like, not many people stay here. They probably know about the trains. But just heads up with the trains. The ladies at the visitor centre said there's not much train movement during the week. Look, they might have just had a run tonight. Probably be no trains. If you want to stop here for 48 hours, beautiful. It's a great little stop to stop at. So, look, if you like the episode, give us a thumbs up. Turn notifications on and don't forget to subscribe guys. Righto clampers, have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.